are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, what can I say? It definitely seems like the Lakers made a big mistake. They bent the knee to LeBron James and Rich Paul, drafting LeBron's son at number 55. And let's just call it what it is, man. LeBron James can't play. He cannot play. He cannot shoot for sure. I mean, Bronny James actually has played three games so far. And last night played against uh, my Houston Rockets. And it was a disaster. A complete disaster. Now, he did have five rebounds. OK. He did have that. He played 27 minutes. And I remember actually watching on the box score and Bronny had like um four points, four, five, six points, something like that in the first quarter. But after that, guys, it was a wrap. His shooting man is horrific. He already struggled to shoot at USC. Who was a terrible basketball team. He couldn't shoot. Now. If anybody thought it would actually get better in the NBA, no. Actually, guys, it's gotten much, much worse. But apparently, Bronny, fully guaranteed contract, actually is going to um, probably end up playing the first week of the season in the real NBA. Maybe he'll actually come in garbage time, you know, one minute, fourth quarter, maybe a photo op with his father on the court. So the narrative can be pushed. First father son duo in NBA history to play on the same team. Maybe that's the case. But he is not an NBA player, man. Because when you're shooting the way Bronny is shooting, and I believe Bronny is shooting 23% from the field. 23% in summer league. Now, he did have the most points he actually has scored. Because we can look at the box score right here. 27 minutes, 3 for 14 from the field, 0 for 8 from 3. Why in the world is Bronny James shooting 8 three-point shots? He actually made both of his um, free throws finally. Man. He did have two steals. Three turnovers, minus nine on the box score. Minus nine. He actually played, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, no. The first round pick actually did play um a few more minutes here. He played uh three more minutes. And the first round pick actually had 25 points. He was nine to 18. Five. 4, 11 from three. But Bronny's getting all the attention, man. And um, by the way, uh, people actually roasting ESPN. When I was actually looking up this uh, story here. It actually always shows you um, some at some um, posts, Twitter. This person says ESPN. So shameless. Reed Shepard uh, just got done putting belts ass on Bronny. And all they're showing are Bronny highlights. This why no one. Uh, care about that platform no more. <laughs> Another person says, my biggest take from uh, Bronny's summer league debut is that he's over his head. Nesson says, I know they're fake games, but I know they're fake games and I'm trying to uh, win, but it does pain me to see SLLA uh, runoff screen uh, sets for Bronny when uh, Neck, Henson are on court chilling in the corner. I'd rather see a neck get a ton of these reps. Well, ESPN was definitely going to um, showcase Bronny. Every time the game comes on, man, every time they come on, Bronny's picture is in the thumbnail of the article or the video. Every single time. When he really doesn't deserve this, man. I feel bad for the kid, man. 
I really do. Now he's getting his money. He's getting paid, but he's not delivering, man, at all. He's not delivering. This is not going to get it done. I mean, right here, man. Look here, it says uh, Bronny James ready for any level with Lakers after summer. It says Bronny James says he will welcome any assignment in his first season as a professional. As long as as long as it comes with a chance to play and improve as a basketball player. Quote, I'm just looking forward to any basketball I play, no matter what level I'm playing at. James said after the Lakers 99 80 loss to the Houston Rockets in Los Angeles opening game in the Las Vegas Summer League on Friday. James was asked about the possibility of spending time in the G League after um, Houston's Cam Whitmore, the number 20 pick in the uh, 2023 draft, finished with 20 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, and 4 steals. As a rookie, uh, Whitmore played 13 games for Houston's uh, G League affiliate, the Rio Grande uh, Valley Raptors, Vipers, I should say, and averaged 26.8 points, 6.8 rebounds, 3 assists, and 2.1 steals per game. Bronny can only dream of that, man. He can only dream of that. After scoring a quick 6 points to put the Lakers up 13-10 midway through the first quarter against Houston, so I was right. It was like 6 points early on. James struggled on offense the rest of the way, finishing with eight points on three for 14 shooting. 0 for 8 from three with three turnovers. Through three summer league games, including two in the uh, California Classic, James is shooting, check this out, guys, sits for 20 sits overall. 23.1% from the field. And he is 0 for 12 from 3. 0 for 12. Remember, this, this is not against real NBA competition either. This is pretty much G-leaguers, man, at best. He says, I just feel like I'm in a little slump right now. And I believe, man, that um, more heat will continue to come on LeBron James. Because this is doing, man. Just talk, talked about a former NBA player that came out and already slammed LeBron James for abusing his power. I mean, this is really crazy, man. Eight points. He scored six quick, man, but he is struggling mightily. He is struggling bit time. Nobody's even talking about uh, Dalton uh, Neck. 17 pick for the Lakers. 25 points, like I mentioned. But ESPN's run, runs with the headlines of Bronny James. This is sad, man. This is sad. I mean, I don't believe Bronny actually deserves this, man. I don't believe he deserves this embarrassment. But his father did this to him. He did it. LeBron James probably is going to catch a whole bunch of heat for this, man. Bronny is struggling in every aspect of the game, man, because he's just not an NBA player. He's probably not a G League player. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us always think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.